This week's episode of the Android Apps Weekly Show is sponsored by NVSMS Messenger. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy, and welcome back to Android Apps Weekly. This is episode number 126, so let's get started. Reddit is officially testing the closed beta version of their official application. Up until now, Reddit users had to rely on third-party apps to get their Reddit on. Soon, people will have the official option if they want it. We don't know what it'll look like just yet, but we'll let you know as soon as it comes out. A recent report was released that showed that Adobe Flash use accounted for a meager 6% of online video consumption in 2015. This has led analysts and anyone with a brain really to the fairly logical conclusion that Adobe Flash will be dead and gone here in a few years. It had a good run and will live on in our memories. Google announced last week that over 5 million Google Cardboard units had been shipped and they have downloaded a combined total of 25 million VR applications, which averages out to about 5 applications per person. It's a budding market, but this growth is very promising, especially considering that there are only about a thousand VR apps currently available. Back in December, Square Enix announced that they were going to re-release Final Fantasy IX on mobile sometime in 2016. To show that they're really working on it, they've released a 90-minute gameplay video that shows the game working quite well with on-screen controls. Are you excited? Cause I'm excited. After months of waiting, Spotify finally launched video content on Android. The music streaming service has video content from big providers including Comedy Central, ESPN, NBC, Adult Swim, and various others. The selection isn't that big quite yet, but it is encouraging to see so many big names lining up. For even more Android apps and games news, releases, and updates, don't forget to check out this week's newsletter, which is linked in the video description below. We have a metric ton of information that we didn't get to this week there for you to check out. If you're so inclined, you can also sign up for the newsletter using the form in the written companion, which is also linked in the video description below, and we'll send it to your inbox every Sunday afternoon. Okay, folks, let's take a look at the apps and games that made a big splash this week. As usual, if you want to check any of these apps or games out, you can find those links in the video description below. Spin Circle is a new minimal puzzle game that has a lot going for it. The premise is that you control a yellow circle in orbit around a center point. You then tap each side of the screen to control the orbit path and speed while avoiding blocks that are bouncing around the square that encompasses the circle. There are variable difficulty settings, leaderboards, and simple controls that round out a good time waster experience. It's also free to download. Google has released the Google Indic Keyboard, which is a version of the official Android keyboard that works for Indic languages. There are plenty of languages supported, including Hindi, Bengali, Punjabi, and many others. It works effectively and does what it's supposed to do. It also has the ability to spell out words phonetically using the English language, a handwriting mode, Hinglish mode, and a whole lot more. It's entirely free and a great option if you're looking for something like this. Downwell is a retro arcade game where you must fall down to complete levels. It has charming retro graphics and simple on-screen controls that take virtually no time to get used to. As you fall you'll find optional rooms for power-ups, bad guys, various platforms, and other obstacles. You can attack enemies or hover using your gun boots, and the gameplay itself is pretty fast-paced and easy to play. There are also no in-app purchases. Wear Real is a newer set of Android Wear watch faces that aim to look as realistic as possible. Of course, you can only do so well on a Wear watch face, but these do look pretty good. On top of the time, the watch faces also contain Google Fit information, temperature, battery level, and more stats. They should be compatible with most watch faces whether they have round or rectangular screens and they're also free to download. Digimon Heroes is the latest card collecting game from a franchise that knows a thing or two about card collecting games. Given Digimon's history, it should surprise no one that the game comes with over 1,000 Digimon for you to collect and enhance using a variety of techniques such as Digivolve and Digifuse. You'll battle various types of opponents and there is a lot of content to play through. It is a freemium title with the classic card collecting pitfalls, but if you can get past that, the game itself isn't half bad. Thanks again for watching everybody, but it's time to get down to some serious business. This week's Android Apps Weekly show is brought to you by Envy SMS Messenger. This totally free messaging application comes with a variety of features including light, dark, nature, and pop themes along with various customizations including bubble colors, fonts, sounds, inbox styles, and a whole lot more. The interface is a mixture of custom design with material design elements baked in for good measure, and insofar as we could tell, the application acts and works perfectly fine. In addition, the application 
application includes a selection of many apps that work within the main app that include a YouTube player, the 2048 game, and BuzzFeed to help give you a more immersive experience. Recent updates also gave the app group messaging functionality. It's definitely one of the most interesting and entertaining SMS apps that we've ever used, and it's totally free, so give it a shot and show your support for the Android Apps Weekly Show. Once again, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy. Why you're here, why not subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel? If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there, and they're also linked in the video description below for you folks on mobile. Finally, don't forget to check out the written companion, which is in the video description below, and don't forget to sign up for that newsletter. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.